Everyone with anxiety is doing one major thing wrong and it's holding you back from finding long-term recovery. And I have the perfect analogy coming up to show you what that huge mistake is. Anxiety is terrifying and extremely uncomfortable. And it actually is a mechanism that is intended to keep us from danger and get us back into a controlled, safe environment. So it is a natural reaction that we start to avoid a lot of things in our day-to-day -day lives, just so that we can feel like the anxiety is slightly more manageable. We avoid any activities that may raise blood pressure cause you know, heart attack. We only go out of the house if it's absolutely necessary and if we do, we rely heavily on mental crutches to get us through the day. Be that we have to take our phones with us, someone has to be by our side or we disappear into the bathroom a bit too often because it calms our anxiety and we feel like that it helps us with all the triggers of the outside world. To regain freedom from health anxiety, you got to look at recovery like stretching. When you stretch your body, you purposely put your body into a slightly uncomfortable state. If you just go so far that you wouldn't feel anything, would you actually be doing something beneficial? No, right? Your brain on anxiety functions the exact same way. If you constantly avoid the discomfort, are consumed by thoughts on how to avoid it and are planning 10 steps ahead on how you navigate anything uncomfortable or try to just manage, you are effectively not doing anything to improve your situation. As with stretching, you have to put yourself out there and purposely put yourself into a position that is just the right amount of uncomfortable. I often hear many other channels saying that you have to just go back to living. The thing is, it is pretty much impossible because we feel fragile and we believe that there really is some danger. So here is an example of my journey and what I would recommend. I used to be terrified of a heart disease and it got so far that I couldn't step into a hot shower as I thought it would mess up my blood pressure and cause blood clots to loosen. But I also knew that being physically active is a great way to reduce stress from anxiety and so I made it my mission to be able to go for quite intense jogs. But I did not go all out straight away, but only went so far that it felt somewhat uncomfortable. I had anxious thoughts during the exercise, but I managed to pull through 20 minutes with yes, a couple of breaks in between. So I ramped up the intensity over time until it was natural and I regained trust in my body. And that really is the key, regaining confidence in your body's health and capabilities step by step. The actual mission of anxiety recovery is not getting rid of anxiety, but improving yourself in such a way that you feel proud and confident with yourself. Do these slightly uncomfortable tasks often enough until it's your new norm and then you have reached the next level. Build up from there and notice how after regaining some of your life back, you start to be confident, your stress levels drastically decrease and overall your symptoms become less, weaker and eventually disappear.